Hello, I am Alyssa and today is another installment of Inside Alyssa White. And if you're new to my channel and don't know what Inside Alyssa White is, that's where you, yes you, ask me questions and I answer them. The questions can be about anything as long as they're respectful, not super trolly or anything. It can be entertainment related, it can be personal. I would love to do a Q&A about Asperger's if you guys have questions about that. If not, that's fine. But I love to do this series. I can be me, uncensored, have fun, and just have fun. That was redundant. But the first set of questions, which there are quite a lot, are from Oblivion Kasami. They ask, are you going to stream your playthrough of Resident Evil 2? Would love to see you play it. I would love to stream it, but I don't really have a setup to properly stream. I can really only stream from my PlayStation 4, and I know that's not the best way to stream. So I would love to stream it when it comes out. Maybe by that time I'll have the proper materials needed to stream or figure out a better way to stream from my PS4. But we'll see. I would love to, though. Favorite drink? I don't know if you mean alcoholic or just like any drink in general. My favorite drink is Mountain Dew, but I try not to drink it too much because it's so high in calories and it's so bad for you, but it's so good. Seriously, my mom drank it when she was pregnant with me. I think it flows through my veins. Alcoholic drink, I love whiskey, but again, I don't drink it as much because again, it's not that great for you. It's high in calories and you know, if you drink too much, it makes you feel really bad. So my favorite drinks are ones that I can't drink that often. Which Johnny Depp character would you want to meet? I think I'd want to meet Edward Scissorhands because he was so sweet and misunderstood. I feel like we just get along together, you know? I feel like we're part of the, you know, outsider group. Would you want a Hawkeye movie? I don't really know if I'd want a Hawkeye movie to be honest. He's, he is the most boring character, in my opinion, in the Avengers. So I don't know if I'd want a Hawkeye movie to be honest because I don't see how that could be interesting. Maybe it could be if the right director could pull it off, but I don't know. I'm not dying to see it. Is there any kind of non-fictional subject that you like to learn about, like history, etc.? I love, love, love learning about Scottish and English history. I love... <laughs> this is going to sound really creepy. I love learning about serial killers. That's always fascinating to me, and it was really fascinating to study that in high school. I took forensics in high school. Those are some of the things I like to study. I also like to study, obviously, the entertainment industry, how movies are made, how games are made, how TV shows are created. I love learning about all the processes, both behind and in front of the camera, so those all interest me. What spirit animal do you think you would have? Definitely a cat. Me and cats are very, very similar personality-wise. So yeah, it would definitely be a cat. If you could only have one pet and could choose from a turtle or a guinea pig, which would you choose and why and why would you name it? Definitely a guinea pig because turtles carry salmonella and that's a no-no. And guinea pigs, you know, they're more cuddly. So I'd have a guinea pig and let's see, a name I would name my guinea pig. You know, I think I'd probably name it Malcolm Reynolds because I think that's a really good name for a guinea pig and it would show my love for Firefly. So. I would have a guinea pig named Malcolm Reynolds. Are you going to see the upcoming How to Train Your Dragon movie? To be honest, I haven't seen the first three, two, however many there have been. I need to watch them. I've heard they're adorable, but the thing is with any kind of animal movie, and I know dragons aren't technically animals and this is an animated movie, I cry. <laughs> I don't want to cry. And I feel like I will if I watch How to Train Your Dragon, but at the same time, I really do want to see it. So, I mean, I do want to see the first one. I need to work my way up to whatever number it's currently sitting at. But I need to get on that train. Is there a crappy movie that had potential that you would like to see a remake of with a good director? Ooh, I'm sure I can think of one. Let me, let me try to think of one. A crappy movie that could be remade with a good director. Actually, I think Green Lantern could be a really good movie if it had the right director, the right writer. And I think they are making a Green Lantern core film, but I don't know. But Green Lantern had a lot of potential and it went... It was terrible, guys. If you haven't seen the Green Lantern movie with Ryan Reynolds, don't watch it. It's bad. It's really bad. If you could save only one book from your collection during a disaster, which one would it be? Obviously, Outlander. Especially the 25th anniversary edition of the first book because that book just saved me during a really difficult time. 
It's influenced a lot of my passions now. I have an Outlander tattoo for Pete's sake, so I definitely saved the first Outlander in the special fantasy 25th anniversary edition of that book. Favorite time of the year. I love my birthday. It's my favorite time because it's in the summer, it's my birthday, it's all about me, and yeah, it's just, it's my favorite time. Did growing up ever scare you ever at all? Not when I was younger, but now that I'm older, it scares me every damn day. Do you love the questions I ask? Yes, I do. They're very good. Have you ever had a guy and or girl try to pick you up with cheesy pickup lines? Yes, both genders. Do you like classical music? Not really. I just can't get into it. I know a lot of people love it and a lot of people find it soothing, but I just kind of find it boring. Ugh, don't kill me, please. Mysterio2123 asks, if you had to restart life but born somewhere else in the world, where would you like to start again? I think I'd like to be born in Scotland. I would just like to live in that beautiful country, experience a different culture, and kind of see what it's like to grow up somewhere besides the United States, just to see what the differences would be. And plus I love Scotland, so I think it'd be really interesting to grow up in such a historically rich place and to just be surrounded by all that beautiful nature. I would love to be born in Scotland. The one D. Joseph, if I said your name wrong, I'm sorry asks Mass Effect Andromeda or No Man's Sky. I haven't played No Man's Sky so I can't comment on it, but Mass Effect Andromeda I did play and I loved it. It had its flaws and it was glitchy as hell, it had bugs, but I loved it. I completed every mission besides one that glitched and I just had the best time with it. I had so much fun with Mass Effect Andromeda and I didn't really understand all the hate it got. I mean, I understood why people were complaining about the glitches and the bugs and how the game would freeze because obviously those are things to bitch about. But other things like the missions and the characters were great. I loved them. 6060766 asks thoughts on the Uncharted fan film. I actually haven't seen it yet, which is really sad because I love Uncharted. I love Nathan Fillion, but I just haven't watched the Uncharted fan film yet, but I need to, just so I can see because every time I thought about like a film adaptation of Uncharted, I always picture Nathan Fillion as Nathan Drake, so I definitely need to check out the fan film. San Antonian 17 asks, Are you a Cold Stone Creamery, Dairy Queen, or Baskin Robbins ice cream person? Dairy Queen because I've never had Cold Stone Creamery, and I've only had Baskin Robbins once, so I have to go with Dairy Queen. And what three games are you looking forward to for the rest of this year? Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Red Dead Redemption 2. What's another game I'm looking forward to this year that's going to come out? I'm really looking forward to Shinmu 1 and 2 HD Collection because I never got to play those games. So those are three I'm really looking forward to. That's technically four, but you know, those are three I'm looking forward to. Mr. Toon asks, Adidas or Puma? I've actually never worn shoes by either company, but I do really like Puma shoes. Just the looks of them. Namco or Sega? Again, I've really only played Namco games, so Namco I would say. I never got to play any of the original Sega games. Most hated game? I can't really think of a game that I just purely hate. Like every game that I've played that's been crappy, I've just kind of been like, this is crap and I forgot about it. <laughs> So I don't really have a most hated game. And the last question is from Chaos is Coming and they ask, which superhero do you want to get a movie in the DCEU, hero or villain? Then if you can pitch us your idea for that movie, main story idea, who the villain will be, any cameos from other characters, etc. Ooh, this is good and it's difficult. I would love just a pure Deathstroke movie. I know he's supposed to appear in the new Batman movie. But I would love just a Deathstroke movie by itself because Deathstroke is such an interesting character. And of course, obviously, you have to have Batman. But you know what? It would be really cool to have the Green Arrow in that because in the TV show Arrow, they face off. So to have the Green Arrow appear in the movie would be really cool. And I would just like to, you know, see Slade Wilson's backstory, how he became Deathstroke on screen, I think it would be really fantastic. So those are all the questions that were asked for this installment. Leave your questions down below in the comment box. Like the video if you liked it. Also make sure to share it because that helps my channel grow. If you're new to my channel and like what you've seen and heard, hit the subscribe button down below along with the notification bell so you'll always be alerted every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to follow me on social media sites, those are all listed in the description box down below. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and for asking questions. Peace and kisses. Bye.